Welcome to After Piano Day. This is Simeon with the joyful sound of praisetracks.com. This actually came about from a viewer comment that uh, mentioned something about uh, taking um, a look at all the Spitfire originals. You know, they've, they've just have cranked out so many of these really beautiful uh, originals pianos. And, uh, you know, so I thought it would be a good, it would be kind of a fun thing to do. So this was like what kind of started it all, the Lab Soft Piano. And, you know, it's a beautiful Yamaha U3, not a lot of velocity layers to it. I think it just has like, like one or two velocity layers, but it sounds so nice. So let's just uh, go ahead and take a look at this free Lab Soft Piano. It's just the definitive soft felt U3. For those open, beautiful open scores. the labs reverb here and let's crank it up let's see let me make sure yeah this is just the labs piano playing because i've got all of them here i've got all of them loaded up ready to go just how beautiful that is and free To get it real dry, you can get it dry as you want. So that just started it all, the uh, the Spitfire Labs piano, and so let's uh, let's move on to the next piano, and that is the original Svelte. This is actually the first twenty nine dollar felt piano that they had. Uh, come out with. And so we're kind of going in chronological order. So this is a three gigabyte piano. It's got like four round robins and up to three, I think, velocity layers. But this is a, um, a shimmel. This is a shimmel piano with the felt. And I love the very first thing is the ribbon microphones. There's something about the sound of ribbon microphones that I just, I really enjoy. So let's, uh, let's take a listen. Now let's see, I was in E, so uh, I might ask you guys to give me keys because sometimes it's hard to know where to stop. Good. Yeah, there we go. Let's check out um, some of the other presets here. Let's just go up close with the felt. Now this pulls the condensers here and it also has a little ribbon. Yeah. All of these are really kind of subdued. Sounds, I mean, yeah, 
this is the up close. <laughs> I think this, this probably is my favorite original Svelte piano. I mean, I, it's the original Svelte piano, but I think, I think this is my favorite uh, Svelte piano. And these are just meant to pro produce these emotional, and beautiful tones. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, let's just check another one of the um, presets here, the half and half. So this has an equal amount of uh, condenser and ribbons. So we're gonna go through, basically go through these and then, then we might just do some side-by-sides. Love the sound. Yeah. I don't know. It, it just it just gets you in there. I just see these paintings and beautiful things happening when I'm um, just diving into these. So you've got all of the, um, of course, the reverbs and attacks. And I'm gonna just see something, make sure. Um, yeah, so you've got adjustments for the hammer noises. Sometimes a lot of the felt pianos, they get a little noisy. And I, I really appreciate the fact that we have that ability to kind of adjust those uh, mechanical noises a little bit. Yeah, there's the ribbons and uh, and I love those. And let's just listen to the close. The close just makes it a little more focused, uh, brings things a little more, uh, a little more in focus, and then the ribbons just kind of you know, spread it out a little bit more and make it a little more velvety. I, I just, I just think that the ribbons, yeah, you hear it? Yeah, listen. Let me turn the hammers down a little bit more. But the ribbon mics just kind of spread it out just a little bit more. I have felt it, yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. And Eves, uh, I concur. The, this this particular felt piano is probably one of my favorites um, out of the originals. One of the things that we're going to discover is that all of these pianos have their own personality. That is that's a, that is what you've got to really think about. You know, you've got a hundred pianos, and and each one is going to have their own personality. It's going to have their own fingerprint. And they're going to fit in certain types of music. Um, I I rarely see a piano that is a one size fits all because everyone has a different story to tell. Uh, when you when you're playing the keys, you're releasing the story that has been deposited in those keys over the years. Especially like the older pianos. I don't know what it is. Uh, I have had the opportunity to travel uh, to many places around the world, and you sit behind different pianos and. And each piano causes you to play a little bit differently, and you know it's uh, it's really interesting when that happens. Uh, I don't know. Different pianos bring out different things in how you play, and that's what we're going to discover with these. Every piano has a different story, 
has a different uh, DNA with it. So, okay, that's the felt piano. And then they did epic brass and woodwind, cinematic percussion, epic strings. And then we get to the cinematic soft piano. And um, this one is uh, another Yamaha U3. And they recorded it at Air Studios, the big, the big room, the big room at Air. And Christian actually performed the samples on this. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Here we go. This is the cinematic soft piano, and it comes up. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's just go ahead and just start with the intimate, um, where it just has the close mics, and let's um, let's take a listen. Yeah. Okay. Now this is the intimate. Just nice and dark. Now that's actually the keyboard noises, the, the key noises. You, you, you know, and one of the things about my personality is I rarely plan, plan anything, <laughs> you know, and sometimes, uh, so I just let the, I let the pianos and the sound take me where, where it wants to go. So, um, okay. So curse bitten, uh, C minor. Let's, okay. Thank you for that. Let's try that with, uh, with another preset and let's, um, let's do, um, let's do upfront. Let's do up front in C minor. Okay. here but um, wow yeah I just kind of got I kind of got uh, I kind of went away I kind of went away there for a second <laughs> um, man man 
and actually the piano, the the um, the action sounds almost get into percussiveness, and and so. Um, Yeah, so I hear the, the that those action sounds. Man. Wow, man, goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So thank you so much. Um, so uh, Svenug, Svenug, good to, thank you so much for joining today and, and appreciate it. And um, Dennis, um, man. All of you guys, thank you so much. My goodness. And uh, yeah, odd, odd fellow. Yeah, man, it's incredible. It's all of these, um, all of these tones and notes up in there. And then you take a sound and it just like, it goes, it opens up the gates. Uh, let me tell you, I haven't, I haven't, I, I, when I first started with cinematic soft piano, it was like those sounds just sort of annoyed me a little bit. Um, and, and it was like, man, I wish they would have got rid of some of those mechanical sounds, but coming again, fresh after not hearing it for a while, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of seeing where that, uh, that would work. And you, we've got some adjustments for the hammers and pedal and those are turned off. So And the thing is, what you're hearing is not reverb. Um, it is not the reverb. It is, it's the room, it's air, it's air studios. So let me see, yeah, Justin, let me try that. Um, yeah, so so those, those, those mechanical noises are really accentuated. That's just the room. There's no reverb because Air Studios is so huge. Yeah, so the tightness, the tightness actually adjusts the sample playback position. Another thing about the, um, yeah, so, so I, I, you know, there, there are times when those mechanics are okay, but I still, I still wish there was a way that we could dial those back a little bit <laughs> because I think sometimes it can get distracting in some ways. So let's, um, let's go back, let's go to uh, Afterglow. And now we have the pad, um, the pad, the pad engaged. Okay, uh, let's see, someone, someone gave me a key here. Let's see, let me go back here. G sharp, yeah, G sharp, my, I can't play in G sharp, but I can play in A flat. Um, I, let's try that. <laughs> no, it's a, that's a little piano humor. Um, very, uh, very little piano humor. So let's try uh, a flat, a G sharp, G sharp minor. Oh, you have no idea of what's ahead. So you're kind of, you're kind, yeah. So just, uh, just hang on, man. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, no live stream would be complete without Unify making an appearance. So. <laughs> Yeah, listen to this.
listen to the pad. The pad, the pad. But see, when I was playing in the low, you just hear that percussiveness again. It just kind of drives things a little bit. Lots of fun. You know, I was, I was like, I was like, man, I'm just, I just, I, I get, I get really, I get really kind of nervous before, when I get on because it's just like, you're just putting it all out there. Uh, you know, you're just putting it all out there. But that's what I love because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what, I don't know what to expect. And um, I love being surprised. And I love that you guys can come along with me uh, for the journey. Okay, one more uh, washed out. Now this is just the mix and the pad. Oh well. Okay. Get yeah. Keep the keys. Keep the keys uh, coming. Uh, that's that's really kind of cool. Um, yeah, the pad is just maxed out on this. And then I like when you hold that down the pad just kind of keeps going. It just is moving and evolving. And now the reverb is all the way up on this washed out pad. Cinematic soft piano. So let's take a look at this next um, this next piano. We're just keep we're keeping on keeping on. And this is the f okay. So now intimate strings, which is another one of my top picks uh, originals. Firewood piano. Now the firewood piano is really cool. It's uh, Jeremiah Freight's from the Lumineers, it is his piano. So the thing is, the story behind this piano is it's it's a it's a really small spinet piano, and the and it's Jeremiah Freight's personal piano and ha had it in the family for a long time, and the he asked a piano technician, you know, to come and see what can be done, and the piano technician said, well, the the only thing that this piano is good for is for firewood because it was it was just something that he just couldn't. Uh, C being fixed or whatever, but it has it has such a really cool quality about it. Uh, it's a it's a seven point three gigabyte library, and it's really it's really something. It's really something, and we're going to take a listen to the firewood piano. I'm so glad that they didn't turn this beautiful piano into firewood, and I'm going to just go to the um, the initial patch here. And we've got close mid, and then here they here again they give us a nice pad. So here we go. Let's see. Let's um, let's go. Let's go to D. And it would help unmute the track here.
hear just the sound. I could sit here and play on this firewood piano all day. Well, I just can sit right here, play this firewood piano all day. I'm so glad they didn't burn it. I'm so glad they let it live another day. Mama told me to practice 16 hours a day. Well, my mama told me to practice 16 hours a day. Well, I just played by ear and made that piano teacher go away. Yeah, it's because it's got it's got a little it's just got a little something in there. And you can hear the velocity layers here. Um, and let me just see. Yeah, because you can hear when I dig into it a little bit, it just goes. Now the spinet is shorter, uh, you know, the, the like the U3s, like the conventional uprights, they are almost at the height of a baby grand. Uh, you can get four foot and, uh, you know, some of them are really, really big. But the spinet is shorter and then the action is uh, a little different engineered as well. So you know, it, it hits a little differently. So the rods are coming up and pushing the hammers uh, instead of uh, it being tall, like the, the action's a little tall. So it just gives you a tighter, more compressed uh, sound. Um, and then they recorded this in a different studio. They recorded this in a studio in Colorado. So it's a drier space. It's a, it's a, tighter, it's a tighter room. And that's what gives you that nice, um, really nice, tight, dry sound that you can just to go for it. So, A Ohm Home, thank you so much. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, let's go, um, let's go with the felt. So they've got a felt layer as well on the firewood. The, the thing is, there's something kind of, um, it, it, it's kind of like a loose sound or something. It's almost like the, uh, you, you know, it's just not a perfect sound. It, it's like it's an, un, the piano is just like an unwieldy, yeah. Yeah. And you've got adjustments for the hammer noises here and the pedal. Yeah, just, and, and I always look at these as just like little spices. You don't want too much, uh, just enough to let it feel there. Let it, you know, don't necessarily hear it, but you want to feel that it's there. Let's take a listen to the pad, felt and pad.
Nice. And uh, warps. Okay, so warps are um, kind of cool. They've they've taken the piano and processed them through like um, like a lot of Eurorack and uh, processors and things. So I'm going to let's just li listen real quickly to uh, pad one. So the attacks and different things are shaped and uh, pad two. Let's turn off pad one, pad two here. And the thing about these pianos is that uh, we can use elements of these, layer them with others, uh, like we're going to see in a minute uh, with Unify. And uh, all of these pianos uh, are unified. Especially, I've uh, created Unified patch libraries for uh, for some of these, and John and the team have created like some Unified libraries too. Um, so they're, they're, they're easy to pull up and layer. But this pad too is really cool, really nice. <laughs> okay, let's go to pad three. Let's go to pad three. Da -dum -dum -dum. And I just hope this will help. Oh yeah. It's, almost sounds bowed in a way. And then we can just combine these, you know, and create different, uh, different textures. Let's just put all three of these on here. Yeah, Bernie, uh, I'm just, yeah, I want to I wanna unify, learn how to unify these things as much as I can because when you have them unified, it makes it so much easier to work with. And it's my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, now we're going to be getting into the Abbey Road Studio 2 pianos. And this is the, the first one of those that they introduced was the Mrs. Mills piano. Now, Mrs. Mills is a Steinway, what they call a vertigrand. So it is big, it is tall, like I was mentioning with the other uprights, it is tall like a baby grand, but it's just like they've taken a grand and flipped it. And so you have the sound pretty much of a grand in an upright. And what they did as well with the Mrs. Mills is that they put a special lacquer on the hammers to make it just really cut and hit uh, hit hard. So really, really interesting sound with the Mrs. Mills. Let's let's go ahead and dive in. And Mrs. Mills, she just seemed like such a, a character, uh, just really amazing, uh, amazing pianist. Pianist, and uh, she just had these parties uh, on her television show. It was crazy. So this is the close the close mic. And you can hear it's a little, little detuned a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Yeah, and this one has up to eight velocity layers, so. Yeah, so you get a lot more dynamic uh, presence uh, with it. And you can just hear how different this one is. You know, it's got a little quirky, detuned. Uh, So live it well It's the time of your life So live it well It's the time of your life So live it well Yeah <laughs> That's fun That's a lot of fun So that's the close and let's go to clean. So we've got a little close and room. And what's so interesting about the Mrs. Mills piano is that they're using the same signal path. They still have all of that equipment that they used when they recorded those albums uh, back in the 60s and 70s. And they're using that same signal path uh, when they recorded this piano. Yeah, now listen to that. How, how nice and open that is. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know uh, that. Okay, getting down to the bottom of that one. And see, Studio Two is a little bit tighter, drier. but it's still got a little release. I, I love a piano that has that, that uh, when you play it, it, it just, it's, it lives, it lives out in the room. It's not just uh, cut off. Um, hear that? That nice decay that comes in that Studio 2 there. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best to try to to pull those uh, pull those notes out. But yeah, the stereo imaging and things here is really nice. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Here is my. Uh, you know, she read she read my mind, uh, and that's that's uh, yeah. Just put your hand wave wave hi to everybody. Wave hi to everybody, Debbie. Yeah. <coughs> when you've been married for uh, going on 36 years. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You know, it's just like, yeah, she's got this. She's got this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And speaking of, cheers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> That's really, really nice. Okay. That's the clean. And they, okay, so 1968, and that, it just has the vintage mic, and it's mono. Yeah, because, you know, back in 68, we, they were, we were still recording in mono. We, I was like three years old in 1968. So that's just straight up the middle. And you 
say, why would I want a mono microphone? Well, let me show you one trick that's that I love is the um, is that you can put a room microphone in there and just dial in a little bit of that vintage. And what that what that mono signal does, it just provides the focus, the focus. So that just lets it focus a little bit. And you can just dig in. With that eight velocity layers, you can just... Yeah. So that's the Mrs. Mills piano. Uh, Let's throw the uh, let's throw the close mic on there a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, will you still need me? Will you still feed me? It's great. It is so cool. You know, this is the sound out of the box, and there are no EQs necessarily in there, I uh, think. Uh, so, yeah, so basically, this is the sound out of the box. Um, you know, you can always, you know, use, you know, external effects and that kind of thing. You know, that is, yeah, that is the right, Savash. Uh, okay, yeah, Sefsha. Yeah, that is absolutely right. This is what this Mrs. Mills piano was was so good at, and that's what Mrs. Mills did best, was doing these beautiful sing-alongs where you would just get around the piano and all over. Uh, it was just a beautiful time spent together. Wow. And thank you, Matt. Wow, thank you so much for that. Um, appreciate that so much. That's just such a, such a great support. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and it's my pleasure, think. It's my pleasure. Any any questions is you know, I always love to uh to do what I can. So that's Mrs. Mills. And again, thanks, Matt, for that super chat. It just it are little things like that that just help keep us going and and I really appreciate it. Okay. Now this is the Jangle Box piano. And let's see. Yeah, so this is the Jangle Box. Now the Jangle Box is the Challen piano, and it is a little different. It has a tack layer, and um, it's got a, it's got like a tack piano sound, and then it has like a nice mellow sound too, because you could drop the tack layer in between. The the it's almost like a felt layer, but it's a tack layer, uh, so it makes it sound real real. Uh, well, we're gonna see, we're gonna hear, we're gonna hear and see. So let's just take a look at the uh, at the 
jangle box piano. Let's just go with the um, with the close tax. And again, you have a close, a room, and a vintage mono mic, just like you did um, with Mrs. Mills. So this is the close, the close mic. Yeah, totally different sound because the hammers are a little bit softer, and so you don't get that real, real hard sound. This is just the close. Let's go ahead and just do another one. And uh, keep them keys, keep them super chats and keys coming. <laughs> so this is clean text. And clean text has a little bit of the close and the room mics. So man, thank you guys. Got a little reverb. Let's go down here. Yeah, that tack. It just adds again a little percussive. And a little too much reverb. So I'm going to dial that back a little bit. Just sounds a little fun it just it sounds it sounds fun that little tech and let's go let's go mellow something about this mellow um sounds really nice okay something about the mellow without text is just really cool d right away listen to how warm that is I'm gonna turn the hammers and pedal down a little bit.
let's uh, let's turn the reverb up just a little bit. And I'm going to row this tightness down a little bit. It opens it up a little bit. Let's paint a picture, a beautiful picture of a world at peace, a world full of love, and a world full of laughter. Let's paint a picture. Let's enjoy the view of a world where I love you, love me, and I love you. The greatest of these is faith, hope, and love, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these greatest of these is love let's paint a picture of love let's paint a picture of love love is patient and kind doesn't get angry or step out of line it bears all things, believes all things, endures all things, and hopes all things. Where there is love, anything can happen. Where there is love, things are gonna change. So let's paint a picture of love. picture of love yeah we paint um, we paint with music we paint uh, with colors the colors I don't know that just that's improvised every that just we just did this we just did that uh, together but that's the power that's the power of these instruments and the, these these beautiful instruments. They have the power to take um, take you somewhere that you didn't expect that you were gonna go. Amazing. You know when I'm doing that, it's just like I'm not. I'm just going. I'm just seeing it. And sometimes I just see like a picture, a picture, a video, uh, and and I just follow it. Just follow it, and I thank thank the Lord and the Holy Spirit for just directing and being present in these videos. It's just such a beautiful, um, beautiful experience. Experience. It's it's beautiful communion with with us together. Um, so vintage without tax. Okay. So let's 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 check. Let's see about that. Let's see about that. What is the best among these pianos? For um, for Latin and Brazilian music, okay. I'm thinking now. This is the vintage without tax, and let's just let's just kind of explore that a little bit. There it is.
let's put um, let's put a little bit of the ribbons in there. Oh man, I love I love it. I think this is a good piano for that. It doesn't have too brash of a sound and it's got that mellowness. Um. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Find it, let's see. Oh. Got enough of, of a bite, but it's got a warmth to it too. Um, let's see. Let's see. Brazilian and Latin music, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So the jangle box to me is a little versatile because you have the the benefit of having that that tack layer, and then you have this beautiful mellow um, mellow piano. One more, we've got the Originals Media Toolkit, and really, it's uh, not just a piano. It's a it's a toolkit that has other instruments in there, but it has Paul Thompson's personal Yamaha C3 Grand uh, that they included. So that's why I wanted to share this as well. Um, so let's see what we've got here, play with this. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's just see. Not a whole lot of velocity layers here. But it's very uh, functional. C3. So this is like supposed to be like a, a simulation of like the Yamaha CP80. Okay, I bet you. Okay, while I'm while I'm while I'm in that, let's just let's just. Uh, Let's pull up Mrs. Mills again. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, let's just pull up Mrs. Mills real quick. Um. If you want to play with me Yeah, Billy, little Billy coming out there. <laughs> yeah, a little Billy, little Billy coming out there. <laughs> um, okay, so um, let's go back. Let's go back to the um, the CP80 emulation here. Um, Yeah, so this is the same C3, but they've just really processed it to give that, to give it that uh, electric, electric grand piano feel. Now let's uh, check out the, the pad sound by itself, and then we can layer it with something. Yeah. Now let's put the uh, clean piano back in. That's so nice. Okay, we always go back to where we started from, and uh, that is with the lab's soft piano. Yeah. This is what started it all for, for many of us. This is an amazing piano. 
So happy after piano day. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I want to thank everybody for joining me. It's been a fabulous ride. I didn't quite know where we were going, but uh, I'm glad that we went where we went today. And and it wouldn't be the same with, without you being with me and, and us sharing together. So thank you so much. And it's always a wonderful journey. Always wonderful journey. Make sure you check out the links in the description. And until next time, just play all the notes. Play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. Yeah, this is the soft piano. The lab soft piano. forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks so much.